We're not far now. Gwyn Whitehill may already be there. What is this? Our ironwood trees. It's the Whitehills. Do you see what they've done? This track was hundreds of years old. And they reduced it to nothing. We've no time to waste. We must take back what's ours before all the ironwood is gone. Aye. The White Hills need to answer for this. And Gwyn needs to answer for this. But we need to find out what she knows. She'll be over there. Be cautious, my lord. If she go around her father to help us, she must have some purpose. She's taken a risk in meeting. Let me hear what she has to say before I judge her reasons. Of course. Just be wary. You see what her family's done here. Here. You might want this. You may have known each other since you were children. But this could be a trap. Doesn't hurt to be careful. Go on. I'll stay with the horses. Cutting down everything they see. Do they understand nothing about ironwood? Split beams, cracked wheels, shoddy workmanship. Clearly white hill. Well, I remember hiding down there, playing monsters and maidens with little Naaman and, and uh, Megan. Hmm, <laughs> I can still smell the sawdust. <laughs> I hear the whining of the grindstone. Such a part of my early years. So long ago. I see you haven't lost your warrior's ways. That's good. I wouldn't want to deal with someone careless. Hello, Gwyn. Roderick. You saw my father's work over there, didn't you? There's no way to miss it. And he won't stop. He means to do that to every inch of your land. I have to stop this. It can't go on. I know. You have to trust me. I don't agree with my father's ways. <sighs> I wasn't sure you were even going to show. We're taking a risk, meeting like this. Thank you for paying respects to my father and brother. And for coming tonight. It's good to see you again. And you too, Roderick. I think we can help each other. But first, I... I've heard news of Asher. That he plans to return to Ironrath. Why is he coming back? I loved him once. I longed for Asher to come back. But not like this. How do you know about my brother? That's... part of why I'm here. But I need to know you've come for the same reasons I have. I want peace between our families. No more wars. No more bloodshed. Is that what you want too? I need to hear you say it, Roderick. 
Will you work with me? I want to know the price before I agree to pay it. No fool. It seems that you are, because you clearly don't understand. Peace is the only hope your family has. My father is just waiting for an excuse to attack. Why do you think he sent my brother? So there will be trouble. My father will bring utter ruin on your house. Unless you let Griff feel like he's in control. I know you refuse to kiss my father's ring, but you would be wise to show more respect to Griff. I'll put on a good face and let him think whatever he likes, if that's what I have to do. It is. My lord, a band of riders approach from the north. Seven hells. My father's guards must be tracking me. If they catch us here, they'll kill you. Then we've no time to waste. Let's get on with it. My father is planning to make a move against your family. I don't know all the details, but he's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. I fear for your family, Roderick. You may think you've nothing more to lose. He is ready to show you otherwise. Why are you telling me all this? Is it meant to frighten me? To make me bend the knee and bow my no, head? No, of course not. Although that's what my father wants. And he knows you can't fight him. He knows exactly how weak you are. What? How? Because you have a traitor in your council. Someone who knows every detail of your circumstances. My father boasts of it. And you must tell me. Who is it? I don't know. We know you're planning to rescue Ryan. Even if it means abandoning your home to Griff. What? My father's guards are close. I need to know you'll do what I've asked. Promise me you'll submit to Griff. If you want peace between our families, it's the only way. You have my word, Gwyn. I'll do my part. Thank you. My lord, those riders are nearly upon us. We have to go. What I told you. Be careful what you do with it. And remember, I'll hear about it if you don't. My lord! Come along, Duncan. Mother. Roderick. Look at what's become of our house. You were nowhere to be found and they just... Oh, they are vile men. Where were you? We need you here. To hold this house together. Mother, I... I believe we have an ally in House Whitehill. And I've learned we face grave dangers. But... Wh what... What did this ally tell you? Lord Whitehill is plotting against us. I don't know his plans. But I fear them. And the only way he'll stop is if we submit to Griff's rule of our house. What? Would you really give up control of our house? Griff is already a torment. How much worse could it get? Mother, I... Our ally is Gwyn Whitehill. She's the one who told me all of this. I don't know how you can trust that. I don't like it either. Was this all? Did you learn anything more? You need to tell me. What I've told you is nothing compared to what else I've learned. There is a traitor in our house, on our council. No. This can't be. And all our plans to save Ryan, to save this house. All gone. Roderick, who could have turned on us? Times have been hard. But I never thought this would happen. 
I have to say, Maester Ortengren worries me the most. Perhaps. But what about Duncan? Duncan? He was furious when Ethan didn't choose him as Sentinel. He wouldn't even show his face when Ramsay Snow came here. When the bastard murdered my poor son. Then again, I don't know why we should believe anything that girl told you. The White Hills would love to sow dissent in our house with lies of traitors. Get in there. Go and get in there. Get in what do you want from me? No, no, he was over there. And Ramsay was yeah, here. I'll play how I want. You will bend the knee to your liege lord. I must be true. I haven't the balls to defy you, Lord oh, Ramsay. Would it would be so much more fun if you fought back. Get out of my house now, all of you. Oh, look here. It's the new lord. You're in luck. We're just getting to the best part. <laughs> Little Lord Ethan's final breath. Unless you want to play the Lord of House Forester instead. You can't do this. You can't do this! <laughs> we'll do as we please. Besides, we're not finished. You must stop. I know you've seen it before. Stop this, or you'll suffer the same fate as my brother. <laughs> but we can't stop now. Not before my favorite part. <laughs> oh, please, no! Say hello <laughs> to your father. Oh, no, <laughs> He's down. <laughs> oh, well done, well done. I'd say, I'd say, I'd say he died better than the real eater. Oh, better than the real eater. What about you, eh? You want to be next? Men without honor are lower than dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be happy to dirty my blade with your blood. Before this is over, your blood will join my brothers on that floor. So I hope this was all worth it. It'll be worth it when I pull this blade from your neck and see the life drain out your eyes. Can't Make his mother it. watch. No more now we'll really have some fun. Enough! Griff will deal with him. When he's done, he'll own this fucking house. And he'll have more than just words for you. Take your boy out of here while you still can. Roderick! Roderick! Now is not the time. Wendell, pack the extra rations. Duff, make sure the quivers are full and the torches are dry. Garrod. What's happening? We're heading north of the wall to deliver justice to brothers turned traitor. They're hiding in the woods at a place called Craster's Keep. I've been looking for volunteers. The cowards murdered Commander Mormon. We're going to kill every one of them. I'll volunteer to go. I thank you for that. I need every sword I can get. But Britt's going to. He took his vows in the set. He's a brother now. I can tell there's bad blood between you two. That could jeopardize the mission. Too many unknowns out there. I can't have my own men killing each other. I'm a ranger now. I've left my past behind me. Britt included. Until you're standing next to him with a sword in your hand. That's the real test.
If you do come, I need to know there won't be any trouble. Even if he provokes you. Can I count on you? I need your word, Garrett. I'll be taking a chance. The mission can't fail. I'm a man of my word. I won't disappoint you. I'll hold you to that. It's a hard road to Crestus. We leave tomorrow at first light. Now why don't you go talk to those two? They volunteered as well. Make sure they're ready. Dorf! Where are my arrows? Well, what did Jon Snow say? I don't think he likes us much. Definitely doesn't like you, Finn. He wants to see us work together. No more problems. That's on you. Point is, he doesn't want any problems with either of you on this Craster's mission. Well, there's something you should know, then. <laughs> I, uh, borrowed this from you. <laughs> what? I just got curious. I wanted to know why your uncle was here. It never ends with you. I didn't mean no harm, honest. I just wanted a quick look. I wasn't stealing. Always planned on giving it back. You can't keep doing that, Cotter. Next time, ask. Well, I did try. And you, you just said your uncle was here about Ironwood. But I think it was something else. I noticed this part here. North Grove. That's just some shit story for little kids. A rumor. No, it's not. Of course it is. I had it to Witch's Den where they turned children into giants. Garrett, you don't actually take it seriously, do you? It's a fairy tale. For idiots. Everyone knows that. You're wrong, Finn. It's more than a rumor. Lord Forrester found the truth. It's real. And this says it's somewhere in the north. On the other side of the wall. Now here I thought you might have some brains, Garrett. But you deserve each other. Have fun chasing your tails. Good. Didn't need him anyway. What do you mean? He doesn't know about the mammoths. Or white walkers. Or how to sneak past a giant. What, and you do? But you know, it's the things you hear about. The rumors is all. I wouldn't know myself. How could I? What do you mean, Cotter? How do you know any of that? Oh, you know, just what I hear around Castle Black. People talk. <laughs> Not about the North Grove, they don't. You do? Probably heard you talking about it. Or, or maybe one of the recruits. Cotter, I know you're lying. I covered for you. You owe me. All right. All right. I've been on the other side of the wall, Garrett. You see, I, I live there, in the north. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. I know, I know, it's crazy. I, I was with some other free folk. We were looking for weapons south of the wall. We got caught, so, so I passed myself off as a local, and, well, they sentenced me here to Castle Black for stealing. I shouldn't be here. This isn't my place, Cotter. Every blade in Castle Black will slit your throat if they find out. You're their sworn enemy. You don't need to tell me that. Are we... Are we still friends? I mean... I know it's a lot to take in. And I'd understand if you were angry. Don't worry. Bloodthirsty wildling or not, we're still brothers. That is good to hear. <laughs> At least when Mance Raider wants to boil you alive, you'll know someone in high places. Cutter! What did I say? That shit house you fixed is still leaking! I'll be right there. I'm going back home, no matter what, Garrett. I've heard stories, old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. You know where the North Grove is? 
No. But I'll help you find it. I'm deserting anyway. Heading back home. I can guide you. Keep you alive. Stick with me and I'll show you the way. Plenty of things out there want to kill you. All right. Even if you are a bloodthirsty wildling. I won't let you down. Cut her! Now! Uh, on the way! Please, don't tell anyone about me. The watch would kill me if they found out. 